I've got a really cool product to show you guys. From Bouge RV to solar panel. It's pretty sweet. It's huge. This is the largest product I've ever reviewed on this channel. I'm really excited to show you guys this, this new panel from Bouge RV. <laughs> it's huge. Without further ado, let's unbox it, get right into this. Wow, there it is. Let me introduce you to the new bifacial 200 watt solar panel. If you're wondering what does bifacial mean, well, let me show you. This is the normal front facing side or the top of the solar panel that you angle towards the sun. However, this one is bifacial. So take this foam out. It's reversible, bifacial. It's dual use. So if you look at the back, you're able to capture any sunlight that reflects off the panel this direction. Whereas normally on most solar panels, this is all covered. So it's only one way and the sun can only come through the top. If, if the sun hits on either side, it will produce more power. So you're probably wondering, well, what good is that for? Well, depending on the angle that you have the solar panel adjusted to, it may be able to capture more sunlight during the day. Super, super cool. You've got the standard MC4 connectors that you just plug into your device. And you've got a lot of mounting, different mounting points all the way around it. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is cool. I told you I had a good product to show you. But yeah, I mean, you can look at the panel and you can actually see each solar cell, how flat and thin it is. And then you can actually see right through the panel in different spots between the solar cells. I've already got a camper in mind that I'll be mounting this to, but I'll have to wait till next spring because the seasons are changed, getting cold now. Yeah, so cool. Huge thanks to Bouge RV for reaching out to me and seeing if I wanted to review this product for them. I am thoroughly excited about this solar panel. Unfortunately, it's a overcast and rainy, cold day outside today. So I won't be able to take it out and actually test the output. But don't worry, I'll save that for another video to be able to take it outside and actually hook it up to a power station and see how, how the solar panel performs. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that. But for now, let's go over some of the specs in the user manual. Now that's something you probably want to know. The Bouge RV solar panel comes with a 10 year limited warranty. 10 years material and workmanship warranty and then a 25 year linear power output warranty. So up to five years, 95% output, 10 years, 90% and 25 years, 80% output. Can you imagine buying a panel in 25 years from now, if it doesn't meet up to 80% output, you can reach out to Bouge RV and they'll, they'll take care of you. That's crazy. So, I mean, 25 years, that's that's a long time. Just reading through some of the safety precautions, one, of, one that stood out to me is, do not place anything on the solar panel, even for a moment, because the resulting residue may damage or stain the glass surface. So, and I'm sure that probably applies to most any panel out there. But going over some of the specs of the panel, it's an open circuit voltage of 22.5 volts, give or take 5%. Max power current is 10.99 amps, so practically 11 amps of power. The solar cell efficiency is 23%, give or take 5%. Operating limits is between negative 40 and up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is quite a range. The cable connectors are 12 gauge and they're three feet long of the MC4 connectors. The series fuse rating is 15 amps. It's class A and CE and ETL certified. Feel free to pause the video if you want to look over the specs yourself. Pretty sweet. I gotta say what a cool solar panel. I mean, before they reached out to me, I don't think I was even aware of a bifacial solar panel and what that could do. I never thought of the possibility of being able to generate solar power from both sides of the solar cell. But now that I see it and think about it, I mean, why, 
if it's not too hard to process solar panels like that, why don't, why doesn't every manufacturer do that? Because that is really cool. But I would assume that the manufacturing process would be more difficult to produce a panel like this because instead of having a solid, white, usually white background for the solar cells to be placed onto, they've got to have a solid transparent structure on both sides for the solar cells to absorb the sunlight and remain intact. If you mount this outside somewhere, you know, it's going to be exposed to wind, rain, snow, hail, whatever. It's going to be exposed to all the elements. And in my case, I'm thinking of installing it on a new truck camper that I'm going to build next spring. And the way I've got it designed, I'll, I'll most likely mount it on the front section, the overhang cab area uh, where the camper sits over the top of the truck cab. The roof will be slanted a little bit, so any water will be able to run off the solar panel. I believe it's 59 inches tall, and I don't quite remember on the width, but it's probably about 28 or 29 inches wide. And then the thickness is about an inch and a quarter, just your standard solar panel width. Just wanna say a big thanks to Bouge RV for sending me this panel and stick around because once we have another sunny day here, even though it is fall, I'll take this out and hook it up to my portable power station just to see how it works and actually test the back side of the panel to see how much power we can produce that way. What a cool product. Of course, if you're interested in this product, click the link down below in the description to check it out. And as far as pricing for this solar panel, it's around $200. Um, in fact, right now, I just saw that it's on a, a limited time deal of $195, um, which is an excellent price for this panel. I mean, that's hand in hand with a regular 200 watt solar panel but then i think regular price is 229 be sure to watch out for some good deals if you're interested click the link down below in the description and that's it for today's video thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one and yeah hope you have a good day